imagine a world where every message, every photo, and every digital footprint you've ever left in your phone could be scrutinized without your consent. This isn't some dystopian future. It's a legal reality that could affect you right here in Australia. So welcome to Lawish, your beacon of monkey waters, digital privacy, and police searches. If you value privacy and you want to stand up for your rights, you've come to the right place. So by way of background, I'm a criminal defense lawyer here in New South Wales, and I'm going to be dealing with this really contentious topic. So hit the subscribe button, let's unpark this dive border of just this big intersection of changes in legislation. All right, again, that date for this landmark case was August 25th, 2022. I should in a massive shift into the Australian legal framework with the amendment of what's called the surveillance legislation. This particular pivotal moment was granted by the Australian Federal Police and also the Australian Criminal Intelligence Agency, unprecedented authority to probe, alter, even add or eradicate some of your mobile devices based on these searches. But let's unpack what this truly signifies for the average citizen and a professional like Mike. So a capability for a law enforcement officer to initiate a search of mobile device is circumcised by very stringent criteria. So it's not a matter where you can just go into it, but this criteria isn't that high. Predated onto distinct clauses by the Criminal Code and Law Enforcement Powers and Responsibility Act, which is also known as LEPRA, and officers conduct a search once no upload upon a warrant or establishing a reasonable suspicion of the device involves into criminal activity. However, this narrative gains additional layers of complex cities in jurisdictions such as Queensland and New South Wales, where legislation shifts completely together. More specific guidelines on this acquisition and accession of these sort of search warrants. And again, reasonable suspicion has been paintbrushed of issues in the you know, Supreme Court and onwards. But let's consider a hypothetical scenario. You flag down for a routine drug test examination and subsequently the officer demands access to your smartphone. How would you respond? Engage with us in the comments below with your thoughts and experiences because this is another question I get asked in the comments, hence the video. So I love it when you guys drop it down, but let's go on. In the event that law enforcement signals their intention to search the device during the traffic stop or following an arrest, arming yourself with knowledge about your rights is very, very crucial. You possess the right to inquire on the basis of their suspicion. I've had this even before as a lawyer and I sort of always consented because I didn't really know my rights. So here, it's vital to remember that a digital password acts as your initial line of defense without a warrant Police are legally bad from compelling you to unlock your phone. But what if they obtain a warrant? Well, there's another step for them to do that. And it goes through it, usually the senior constable or whatever task force they're in. But the refusal to permit the search of your phone includes a legal complex challenge. Citing a reasonable excuse may offer a kind of semblance of protection. Uh, the equation of that dramatically issues and nuances of a warrant. So these sort of ramifications of the defiances are significant in composing such penalties ranging from five years in prison to very, very heavy fines. So it's not a matter where you just take this thing lightly at all. In the area where sanctity about privacy is really under siege, a well informed is paramount to our defense. It's good to know this, especially if police just want to do what they want to do and you need to know this sort of stuff. So in the discussion, I hope it's enriched your rights within the Australian legal system. Please like, share and subscribe on this sort of awareness. Like how we say, I love doing these sort of things. I love giving people's information and I've experienced, you know, the very bad apples with police. And so it's sort of shifted my views as to why I got into criminal defense. So if you want more details, if you want to go into case law, please drop in the comments and I'd love to answer you guys. Thank you.